Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about the Dana Fripps Terminator 2 DAC. I've been listening to it in my system for a while. I've compared it to the Cord Dave, which is a uber high-end DAC. Uh, I'll talk about what I think about the Terminator 2 compared to the Dana Fripps Pontus 2 that I recently reviewed not so long ago. And uh, yeah, let's get started. The Terminator 2 is the DAC from Dana Fripps. Uh, this is a Chinese brand made in China, sold by Vinshine Audio in Singapore. I reviewed the Pontus 2 not so long ago, and I loved that DAC. As a matter of fact, when I reviewed it not that long ago, I proclaimed it the best DAC I've had in this system. It beat DACs like the Cord Cutest. For me, it beat the Lampazator Amber 3 and any other DAC that I had in here. I loved the Pontus 2. But shortly after uh, evaluating the Pontus 2, as a matter of fact, while I still had the Pontus 2 here, um, I was going to purchase that DAC. And I came across a Cord Dave, which is one of those DACs that is world class. It's at the top of the heap, not at the top of the heap. There's much more expensive DACs, but it's up there in the Summit Phi region, you know, uh, where you're getting world class. Uh, musical reproduction and make no mistake a DAC the DAC is very important in a high-end refined system for me these DACs the Terminator 2 the Cord Dave uh, even to some extent the Pontus 2 has improved the musicality of my system more so than a preamp or an amp or cables the DAC is very important what I say to people assembling a high-end system is First, buy the speakers. The speakers are always the most important thing. Buy those speakers depending on what you like to hear, what your ears like. Some people like warm and full. Some people like lean and detailed. Some people like something in the middle. So buy those speakers. The second thing you should always invest your money in, the most money, is the front end, the source. If it's analog, it's your turntable and preamp. If it's digital, which we're talking about today, that would be your DAC, your streamer, etc. The DAC is very important. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the Terminator 2. The Terminator 2 is second from the top of the heap in the Dana Fripps lineup. They have the Terminator Plus, which is an all-out, tour de force, state-of-the-art, best parts quality, hand-picked parts kind of DAC. It's an improvement over the Terminator 2, right? The Terminator 2 I have here comes in at around 44, 4,500 US dollars. Um, it is 41 pounds, it's all metal construction. It's a beast of a DAC. It's a full size component and it feels like it's heavier than some amplifiers that I've had in here. That's pretty crazy. The power supply of this DAC is insane. It's actually in the lower half of the DAC they call it a box within a box. There's a metal steel plate that separates the power supply from the DAC board, etc. But it's beefy, it's big, and some people pay thousands of dollars just for a power supply to improve something, say, like the Cord Dave. With the Terminator 2, you're already getting a top-notch linear power supply in the box. Uh, the DAC is silent in operation. It's uh, noise-free. Um, it has any input you can uh, desire. It has USB, it has coax, it has optical, it has the new connection, which is sort of an HDI. It is an HDMI cable. My streamer doesn't have that capability. I have a Lumen U1 Mini. So I used, I tested it with USB and I tested it with coax. I much greatly preferred the coax uh, of the Terminator 2. The USB to me sounded a little compressed and a little flatter in comparison. So I did prefer the coax connection from my Lumen U1 Mini streamer into the Dana Fripps Terminator 2. Now, I've had quite a few DACs here over the last year. The Cord Dave I chose as my reference DAC because when I heard it, it was so far above anything else that I've heard in the past that I knew I had to have it as a reference. And what I mean by reference is, I've been building this system for many, many months now to be a reference. So when products come in for review, I can compare it against the best I've heard. Now, you can spend a lot more than I spent on a system, but this is my reference for my room and my ears. I love the sound of this system. 
But when I heard that Core Dave uh, put in, my mind was blown. I didn't think that a DAC could make that much of a difference. The Dave has energy, sparkle, life. It does details like none other. It has body and a little bit of warmth. It's not a bright DAC, but it's an aggressive DAC. I wondered what the Terminator 2 would bring, which is one third the cost of the Cord Dave, which is crazy. Um, and I was a little nervous because I had just bought the Cord Dave. I put it on a credit card, went into debt. I had to have it. And then shortly after, here comes the Terminator 2. And I was like, uh oh, is this going to be better than what I just spent a fortune on? I'm be paying off for quite a while. Well, I put in the Terminator 2, and we're going to talk about the sound quality. But make no mistake, the build quality of the Terminator 2 is world class. It's up there with $10,000, $12,000 DAX. Build quality is superb. When I put it into my system, I let it warm up for a couple of days before I started to listen. And when I did sit down to listen, I was amazed at what I heard. Now I'll talk about first what you get with the Terminator 2 above something like the Pontus 2, and then I'll talk about what it did compared to the Dave. Compared to the Pontus 2, you're going to get an even blacker background. This DAC is silent and noise free. This allows more of the micro details to come forward. It allows the details to be heard. Details that are sometimes obscured with lower end DACs. Um, so you're hearing more details, but also a much more smoother, refined, expansive, and holographic sound. The Terminator 2 is very holographic, very three-dimensional, very welcoming. It's a little warm. I don't want to say dark because it's not dark, but uh, compared to the Pontus 2, it's just more, it envelops you more into the music. It's got bigger scale. It just kind of wraps around you. It's a relaxed but detailed presentation. I, I was worried it was going to be bright and harsh and trying to be analytical, and that's not the case. The Terminator 2 is very refined and smooth while bringing those details forward. Compared to the Pontus 2, it's many levels up in my opinion. You're, you're getting the similar house sound, but you're getting much more of it, right? Compared to the Dave, the Terminator 2 is a little more recessed. It's not as upfront, forward, or in your face. The Dave likes to jet out sounds and instruments and, and you know, voices more forward into, into your room from the speaker. It projects those out with energy, life. And while it's not bright or hard, it can be a little aggressive. Almost too much of a good thing with some music, not all music. The Terminator 2, on the other hand, brings forth that detail. It doesn't separate, you know, the imaging is not as separated and um, it doesn't have the body around all of these instruments as the Dave does. But what the Terminator 2 is doing is more, I say magical. Um, it, it brings you into the performance more. It is, again, a little more relaxed. Therefore, you hear not a hint of aggressiveness. You don't hear any signs of you listening to a digital recording. Now, I use Rune for Tidal and Cobuzz, and I sometimes stream Spotify direct to the streamer. I can stream Spotify, and it sounds amazing with low-res, just standard CD quality files. If I stream through Rune with a little bit of a higher-res file, it sounds a little better but I have to be honest, the Terminator 2 puts any, makes anything I put into it sound really, really rather amazing. Um, it's just a noise-free, highly detailed, a little bit recessed, more of a relaxed, big listen. Um, it, it just kind of soaks you into the song. Now, I feel most people, if you heard a side-by-side, -side, you might prefer the Terminator 2 uh, over something like the Core Dave, which costs three times as much, and it's the DAC I own in my reference system. Now, I still prefer the Dave in my system because it has that uh, injection of life and electricity, and uh, it just has a little more jump and jive. But the Terminator 2, I think, would be the preference of probably more people because it's just that beautiful, inviting uh, musical presentation. It's, it's never harsh. Uh, as I said, it's never aggressive. It's just 
it's hard to explain in words, but it's a beautiful, beautiful world-class DAC that gets, it equals the Dave in holographic soundstage, right? In three-dimensionality, it equals the Dave in that. It might even surpass it in some ways for a little bit, um, but it just doesn't have that impact and oomph that the Dave has. But again, I think a lot more would prefer the sound presentation of the Dana Fripps Terminator 2. It is absolutely world-class. It's up there with the top DAX, DCS Bartok. I recently listened to that, the Chord Dave. Um, the Terminator 2 is in that company, right? It, in my opinion, is a huge step up from the Pontus 2. It's more than double the price, so I would hope that it would be. It seems to be built to last forever. Uh, it's like a tank. Uh, when I have to lift it off the shelf over there, I'm like, Ugh, you know, and I got to put it to the floor, but hey, I'm getting old. So maybe that's the problem. But this is a great, great world-class DAC. I can't recommend it enough. Now, it has the non-oversampling mode, the NOS mode, and it has an upsampling mode. What's interesting is with the Pontus 2, I prefer the non-upsampling mode. Um, with the Terminator 2, I prefer the upsampling mode. With the Pontus 2, the non-oversampling mode kind of relaxed the top end a little bit and brought forth a smoother presentation. The Terminator 2 does this even in upsampling mode. And you hear a little more detail, you hear a little more excitement, but it's never hard or harsh. It's never aggressive. So I much prefer the oversampling mode on the Terminator 2. Now there's no remote control with the Terminator 2, but you don't need one. It's a DAC, it's not a preamp. Um, it's not a headphone amp. It is strictly a DAC. It has one job to do and it does it very, very well. Now again, this DAC is made in China. You have to order it from Singapore. There's no local US dealerships that I'm aware of. Um, so a lot of people say, well, I'm supposed to buy this thing blind. And I know I get it. Um, it would be hard for me to do as well. But I'm just here to tell you my experience with the DAC. I've not had any issues with it or the Pontus 2 that was sent to me for review. I've not had one hiccup, one flaw. Uh, the build of both have been astonishing. The shipping was fast and quick um, and again, no problems. Um, so I can highly recommend the Dana Fripps Terminator 2 DAC. It's world-class, uh, it really, really is. And uh, you know, do I regret buying the Dave for three times the money? I don't feel the Dave is worth three times the money, absolutely not. But I'm glad I have the Dave because it does offer a little bit more of that oomph, impact, drive, um, and realism. Not to say the Terminator 2 doesn't offer those things. It does, just on a little bit of a lesser scale. But keep in mind, the Terminator 2 is one-third the cost of the Cord Dave. Um, but again, also, I have to say it again. Some of you may prefer that presentation of the Terminator 2. Refined as it can get very smooth, beautiful, beautiful presentation, no matter what music I play through it. So that's my thoughts on the Dana Fripps Terminator 2. Uh, I will have a video soon on the Kinky Studio EXM1 integrated amp, which is a massive bang for the buck, $2,400 US, US dollar amp, 61 pounds, has drive, impact, dynamics for days. I'll talk about that soon. I'll also have a comparison of the Past Labs XP10 and XP12 preamps and a lot more to come this year. So if you like this, thumbs up and subscribe and uh, I'll be back very soon. Bye.